Hi everyone, Abby here. Welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday or welcome if you're new. Now today, as requested by many of you, I'm gonna be comparing the new Garmin Lily 2 to the older but still great Garmin Venue 2S. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I do have the Garmin Venue 2S here in the color white rose gold. And I have the Garmin Lily 2 in the color metallic lilac. And if you are looking for more information on either of these smartwatches, I have tested and reviewed both of these. You can find my full review on both of these smartwatches linked in the description below. Because today I'm gonna to be focusing on the main differences and similarities between both of these smartwatches. Now, the first difference between both of these smartwatches is the price. Now, the Garmin Lily 2, released in 2024, currently goes for 339.99 Canadian and 249.99 American. And that is for the version I have here with the silicone band. If you did want to get the classic version with the nylon or leather band, that's going to be more expensive. And for the Garmin Venue 2S here, released in 2021, current price is 519.99 Canadian and 399.99 American. Now, one good thing about the Venue 2S being out for longer is that it routinely goes on sale. And I've seen it on sale for like $100 off or more even. This video is not sponsored. None of my videos are. Everything you are seeing, I have bought myself. And I basically shared with you guys a way that I have bought my watches, how I get discounts on Garmin watches. So if you're interested in that, you can find that video coming up at the top right and linked in the description below for you to check out when you're done watching this. So now I'm gonna go into the major spec similarities about both of these smart watches so you can get an idea of exactly what they have in common. So both the Garmin Venue 2S and Garmin Lily 2 are touchscreen smartwatches that can track your basic metrics like your steps, your calories burned, your active minutes. They're both water resistant up to five ATM or 50 meters. So yes, you can take them in the pool and in the rain. They both track a variety of activities such as running, walking, yoga, swimming. You can track your sleep. They both have women's health. And I've gone ahead and listed a bunch more similarities on screen for you. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. So here is the Garmin Lily 2 on me solo. And here is the Venue 2S on me solo as well. And now I've gone ahead and put them both on my wrist side by side. So you can get a feeling of how they kind of stack up together. The Lily being beside the Venue makes the Venue look quite big, but the Venue 2S is a very small, sleek smartwatch. That's just an, kind of an, a testament to how small the Lily is. Now I think these are both very nice looking smartwatches. They're both small, they're lightweight, and they look great in my opinion. Which one do you guys think looks better? The Lily 2 or the Venue 2S? Drop that in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. And all right guys, now I'm gonna go into the major spec differences between both of these smartwatches. On the Lily 2, we have a 14 millimeter quick release watch band. And on the Venue 2S, we have a 18 millimeter quick release watch band. There's also a difference in the physical size of the displays, the type of display, GPS connectivity, the battery life is also different, and I've listed some more differences I've noticed on screen for you. And now I'm gonna talk a bit more about some of these differences. So when it comes to the design between both of these smartwatches, that's where we see a good amount of differences here. Of course, we have a smaller band and we also have a smaller watch face on here. On the Venue, we do have this kind of checkered pattern where on the Lily, it is smooth. Another difference is on the Venue, we do have buttons. So we do have some metal buttons at the side here. We have two of them. And on the Lily, we have no physical buttons, but we do have one under display button right here. Another difference, the materials that they're using. So I do have both of these with a silicone band. So on the Lily, we do have aluminum, kind of on the bezel and aluminum accents. And on the Venue, we do have stainless steel accents and um, buttons and stuff like that. When you are comparing stainless steel and aluminum, aluminum is a cheaper material and it's also less durable. So it's easier to scratch and ding up and scuff compared to stainless steel, which is stronger. It's a tougher material. 
On the Lily, we have a liquid crystal display, and this is a grayscale display, so you're gonna see different shades of white and gray on here. There is no color, keep that in mind. On the venue here, we do have an AMOLED color display, and it can be easier to read because it's a lot more contrasting. The display is also bigger, so you can see your data bigger a lot of the time. For example, when we pull up the weather on both of these, you guys can see the font size definitely bigger here versus here, but both are pretty readable in my opinion. It's just this one at certain angles is harder to read. You can see there's quite a bit of glare. For this one at the same angle, easier to read. When you are outdoors with them, it's kind of the same thing. For the Venue 2S, we do have an optional always on display option. So you can turn on the display so you have it on all the time. Now on the Lily 2, we don't have an optional always on display option. We just have, you know, the display that's gonna time out on you. Now when it does come to activity tracking, one thing I've noticed is that we get very similar results, if not the same. Both of these smartwatches do have the same heart rate sensor, even though this is released in 2024, this is released in 2021. So with that, we are getting similar results and similar data for basic metrics like your active minutes, your calories burned, your sleep, your heart rate, and your steps. I'm gonna put these both on my wrist and show you guys a quick heart rate example. So you guys can see they're very, similar both at 85 86 they're just like i said they're usually identical or they differ between five percent or less and they both kind of track different things an example an exercise on here on the lily not on the venue is dance first time i've seen dance as an option on a garmin watch i think that's pretty cool now overall the venue does track more activities than the lily does i can track hiking on the venue here where i cannot track that on the Lily. Now, once again, if you are interested in seeing all the activities they could track, feel free to check out my full review on both of these as well, where I show you guys all of the activities that they can track. Venue, once again, does have built-in GPS. Do you have built-in music storage? on the venue so you can download music on here and you can literally just go out for a workout bring in this bring in bluetooth headphones listen to music on the go without bringing your phone with the lily we do have connect gps so you are relying on your smartphone's gps for your outdoor workouts so you do need to make sure that your phone is with you and has to be connected via bluetooth while you're working out so when it comes to operation, we definitely see some differences here. Now, both of these are touchscreen smartwatches, but the Venue, as I showed you guys, does have two buttons at the side. So with these buttons here, they are super functional. You can press this, you're gonna start your activities. This is a back button. You can also hold this, opens up the menu. If I need to see my metrics, I can just swipe up and swipe down and look at all of them. Here I have a shortcut available. Now with the Lily, there's an under display button. So holding it's gonna bring you into the settings menu where you can start an activity, change watch faces, stuff like that. If I swipe down, you could see a little shortcut menu We're here. If I hold the button, you could see a shortcut menu. And if I go left or right from the homepage, I can see a variety of my metrics. And sometimes when I am pressing it, it doesn't have great feedback. It doesn't register your press. You guys saw I clicked that a couple times on the third click about it worked. The operation can be a little bit finicky sometimes when you are swiping. Right now it's pretty smooth, but at least once or twice a day, I'm just swiping and it doesn't do anything. So that could get quite annoying. The operation on the venue is definitely smoother. I would never have issues where I'm pressing something, it doesn't register a press or a swipe. The Lily 2 has a coded battery life up to five days as a smartwatch, where the Venue 2S has a coded battery life up to 10 days as a smartwatch. Now with my actual usage doing things like walks, runs, daily alarms, timers, answering messages, and more, I have gotten on average for the Venue 2S seven to eight days of battery life, and for the Lily, three to three and a half days of battery life here. Battery life on the venue I think is great. I really charge this thing like every other week. I can kind of just charge it and forget about it for a week, which I love. The Lily, I do have to charge it at least twice a week. The Lily 2 uses this kind of clip on charging mechanism where you're using this little thing here and you gotta line it up and put it on here and stick it in the charger. Um, Okay, <laughs> I don't know why Garmin came up with this idea. For the venue, we have Garmin traditional charger with this type of thing that we plug in. Now this type of charging port and design has been around for years and years and years. I would have liked if they kept the standard on here because it's just easier 
when I have other cords from older smartwatches to just plug it in. And these are the battery life results I have gotten. You guys might get something different, something higher or lower depending on your uses. Now when it comes to which smartwatch is best for you, well that I think depends on a couple of factors. Are you looking for a smartwatch that can track all of your activities, that has built-in GPS, music downloadability, that has a bigger display, a bigger band, and a longer battery life? Do you want something that's gonna be a little bit more durable for you and a bit more features packed in? If your answer is yes, the Venue 2S could be a great option for you. If you are someone who is looking for a smartwatch that is a bit smaller and sleeker, you're okay with having connected GPS, maybe you're someone who wants a more affordable option and you wanna still be able to track all your basic metrics, activities, then I definitely think the Lily could be a great option for you. Now when it comes to me and which one I prefer, I would go with the Garmin Venue 2S. Now the Garmin Venue 2S I think is a fantastic smartwatch still in 2024. I like that it does have music downloadabilities, built in GPS, I really like the battery life it has, and I like that it does have a barometric altimeter because I love getting my elevation data and my floors climb personally. Quite honestly, I think both of these are really good smartwatches, but it really depends on the features that you're looking for in your smartwatch when it comes to which one is best for you. If you guys are looking to pick up either of these, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use, and if there's any Anything I missed today that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. I do read all the comments, so I'll definitely get back to you. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.